Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with RCGroups.com and today we're looking at the ReadyMade RC Mud Skipper 250 size race quad brand new from ReadyMade RC. This thing retails at $389.99. It has everything you need to pull it out of the box and get racing. We're going to have a video coming off that in just a second, but first let's take a look at some of the features. It has a Fat Shark 700 V2 camera right there and the ReadyMade RC Cricut 200 milliwatt 40 channel VTX, it's running the Dodo flight controller, and the antenna is a VAS race spec antenna, one of my favorites. And then for power, we're running the ready made RC Blue Series 2204 2300 KV motors, and that has a DYS 20 amp ESC. And then for propage, We've got the mighty HQ 5x4.5 bull nose props all around. And then finally, the beefy 5mm carbon fiber arms with the get this lifetime guarantee. Hard to believe. Very cool. It's assembled, ready to rock. They also have a plug and play version 299.99. It's the same as everything here, minus VTX antenna and camera. And finally, the kit mud skipper at 119.99 includes all hardware needed for assembly, power distribution board, and those big fat arms. And so what we're going to do is jump into a video of this thing uh, running a course and. We're going to, to uh, DVR that right out of the uh, system that's provided with the unit. Once again, this big girl with everything on her is $389.99. Very cool. Can take a hit, as I've found. Let's go look at the video. So we're in the air. There's no audio on this thing. None that I've found, at least. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, this is literally the very first run on the quad. We have Jason Cole on the sticks. Jason belongs to a local racing team club. And I actually told ReadyMade I thought maybe uh, Jason would have been the man for this review since he is a pretty, as you can see, pro at shooting the gates and making the turns. So let me just say that one more time. This is the uh, first flight out of the box for Jason with this thing. So I would say he feels pretty comfortable. And we're running a four cell 1500. And the thing Jason kept saying was, man, is this thing fast. Let's talk about the battery a little bit. There was concern on my uh, sneak peek thread that the battery, in a, you know, if you were to crash nose down, that it might rip through your camera video transmitter and take it all out and so the guys at ready made rc have stated and it's true that there are standoffs in the front and the back of the battery here's a interesting thing about the battery is um that they provided me i'm not sure if it's coming with the unit itself but it's a sticky strip that goes between the frame and the battery and man it works. I did get it a little grassy, so I need to uh, see if I can just rinse it off and get that to uh, come off and then put the battery back on it. But that was pretty trick. Also, it came uh, wired for a Tranus, but um, it has a little output there for a satellite for a spectrum system. So I run a DX18, and all I did was I put the model into my transmitter that I was going to use on the mud skipper. And then I uh, bound it with the receiver that had two satellites on it. I just happened to have two on there. And then when it was bound and everything was good, then I unplugged that and plugged it into the mud skipper, which seemed to be uh, crazy to me that that would actually work. I've never done that before. Seemed like magic. I called Jason and Jason Cole, who works with us at RC Groups, of course, was like, yeah, man, and I thought, there's no way you can just use a satellite to power this thing instead of a full receiver. But it worked. I plugged it in, worked great, got into the clean flight software and uh, tweaked out. I didn't touch any parameters. I just went in and made sure it was all set up to run my transmitter. And that was good. And then let's talk about one more topic, crashing. So I'm not sure if it's in this video that we're looking at or not. In fact, I guess this is Jason flying right now. I see three people there, so I don't think it is in this video. Um, 
the very first thing we did was overshoot the grass and slap this thing into asphalt. I blew two props, put two props back on, nothing. Didn't even look like I'd crashed it. And then the next thing I did is, uh, you're about to see, I'm sure it's on the video, is I, uh, you know, like I say, I've flown quads, micro quads, 550s, I uh, started out on a DJI unit, so I've had my hands on everything. I I fly quads on real flight, and uh, I've talked to guys like Mr. Steele about his theory on flying a race quad. And so the uh, interesting thing for me, this is my flight, is that the camera is at an angle. And so the theory here is, is the more angle you put on the camera, the, face, the faster you'll race because you need to keep that nose down to keep, uh, everything in view and if the camera's angled my first try to gate I missed it uh, and so here I am so what I did a few times was stick it in the grass uh, most of the time I could take off right off the grass or I might have to change a prop or two and so as far as uh, sticking it in the grass no problem the uh, ultimate thing that we did and we're coming to the end of our video here I think there's some more maybe I'll I'll take a look and see what else I have but um, I led a friend of mine, a friend of mine that taught me how to fly, was standing there with us, and I'm not sure what came over me, but I said, do you want to fly this? And the reason I would no, normally not say that is because it was uh, a brand new quad, you know, and we, I knew we had our good video, but anyway, it's not, I don't think I recorded it. He took it out. I said, please don't fly it into the woods. He took it out. I said, turn right. He turned right. I thought, oh, he's fine. And then I guess he chopped the throttle and he was about 60 feet up in the air and so this thing fell out of the sky 60 feet to the ground with a big old thud I know it landed on the nose it probably I'm not sure if it landed on the nose and then took the hit to the top but uh, I could tell that it hit the bottom it hit the nose and it came around where the antenna was and I'm talking thud man <laughs> And so as I was, I, I was running out there, I wasn't upset, but uh, I thought, well, who knows what I'm going to pick up here. And all we did was blow the front two props off and there's just a slight bit of mud on there. So it can take a hit. Trust me. We definitely tested that. So in conclusion, I'm a newbie. Uh, to racing. I'm not a newbie to quads. I'm not a newbie to FPV. I have tons of FPV gear. And uh, for me, my initial flight, I thought it flew great. I mean, it was predictable. I was able to get it into uh, the gate. And so all I need to do now is take this thing back out and put the gates back up and sit there next to my truck and practice running the course. And if that's what you're looking to do, I think this is awesome because it's uh, ready to go out of the box. It was usually I spend most of my time in these videos talking about um, building and you need to know this and you need to know that. You don't need to know anything, which is bad. I know we need to know how to build a quad. You probably already do. But if you're looking for something quick and fast, this is definitely it. It uh, flew great. Very stable. Didn't intimidate me at all. Didn't make me feel I was like I was behind it or anything like that. And uh, I'm anxious to get it back out. The reason we went out on this day is because it is now November and I knew the pretty days were coming to an end. So we got out and shot this footage. So anyway, this is our flight footage. This is once again our first few flights on the, on the quad. Um, I really like it. I'm really excited to own this quad if that means anything to you. And um, what are we doing? Sorry, I was looking at the video. I think it's a solid quad as it is with all things new. Um, this is one of the first real production units. Um, oh, weight. The weight I had was 610 grams all up. I will note that in my in my review. I talked to uh, Alex over at ReadyMade RC. He said, man, this is really the real first production model out. So you have it. So you're the only guy that would really know the weight. That's what my new, brand new scale told me which I bought just to see how much thing, this thing weighed. Are we doing the cones? No. So you've got a good look of it in the air. 
you've seen some glamour shots the next thing i think you should do is head on over to the website with the link in the description and go read the review look at some more pictures and then jump in there and see what everyone else has to say i hope this has helped i am missing the gate dang damn it <laughs> oh so the question is let's see i'm missing the gate again yep 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 i seem to be pulling to the left Let's see if I get it on this one. Okay, okay, I'm using the uh, aileron and no, 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 I'm not going to get it. Okay, okay, I, I'm not going to make you sit here until I get the gate. But I hope this has helped. I hope seeing it in the air uh, means something to you. And seeing the pictures is awesome. What? That's right. I got it through the gate. I better call it good. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video hasn't been too long. Thanks to ReadyMade RC for sending me the unit and thinking that I was the man for the job, even though I'm the newbiest of uh, FPV racing noobs. Yeah, in the grass. And uh, thanks to Alice. Alice? Thanks to Alex for uh, answering all my questions. I'm Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com. Now let, let's just see what happens here. I'm curious to see if I'm going to pick it up or fly it away. Hello. Well, I guess it was the end of the day. We're out of here, y'all.